violence and other kind of violence. What's good Shadow Realm? It's a Black Gen Z Mindset. Make sure you go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe, and let's get into the video. Milwaukee police are investigating a homicide near Kilbourne Reservoir Park. This was the scene this morning. This is Bremen and North. Police say a 22-year-old Milwaukee man was found dead inside a vehicle. The victim had a fatal gunshot injury. No arrests have been made yet. Wow, man. Mm, 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 mm. This is the norm. You can see buddies, I mean, it looks like his body's still in a whip. You can see his little fro right there. This is what the community is producing. An overnight shooting on Milwaukee's north side leaves one person dead. This happened just before 1.30 in the morning. 75th and Brown Deer is the video you're seeing right now. 41-year-old man died at the scene. No suspects are in custody. Humans are shedding light on that chaotic shooting following the city's Juneteenth celebration a week ago as a 15-year-old boy was charged last week in the shootings. Bill Miston joins us with what we've known and what we've learned so far. Bill? Wow. So, um, obviously, we had these Juneteenth shootings go on. As you can see in the background, the American flag and the pride flag <laughs> flying in full colors okay no pun intended but um you know it, it's what we expected on juneteenth 15 year old boy shot into a crowd and um i i, I think he ended up deleting people i'm not sure but uh it's just not a good look this is why i continue to say sisters come get your kids because these super teen gremlins are on demon time. Hey there, Mary. Prosecutors believe that the 15-year-old is the sole shooter. And actually, we've learned today that at the time of these shootings, he was out on electronic monitoring after he was arrested for possessing a gun just a couple months ago. And in fact, a couple years ago, he was an adjudicated felon for armed robbery. Mm. Prosecutors say it started as a fight involving two girls that evolved. And guys, you know we covered this on the live stream, so make sure you go back to that live stream when I covered the Juneteenth mass shootings. A larger fight. <laughs> Video from bystanders captured them. Court documents say the 15-year-old wearing a black hoodie with blue writing on it stumbles out of one of those fights. And out of view of this camera, another boy pulls out a gun and fumbles with it. That's when police say the 15-year-old boy fired his gun. Mm. It's sad. How can we celebrate when it's our own, our children that are doing the shootings? There you go. There you go. Hey, this is not me saying it. This is the sister right here saying it. And she banging Sue Wu with the red bandana. And she's even saying it. How can we celebrate when it's our own doing the shootings? You can't. You can't live in peace like this. And that's why you sisters have to stop voting blue, but we know you won't. And we're going to continue to get these same results. Six teens were shot, including a 17-year-old girl in the neck. There's no reason that a young person should have their hand on a gun of any kind. Months earlier, court documents say the 15-year-old defendant was arrested with an AK-47 modeled semi-automatic pistol. He was released on GPS against the state's request. Mm. In 2021, the then 13-year-old boy was adjudicated a felon. So these are the catch and release policies for these so-called minors. I mean, these, these super teen gremlins, they know what they're doing, man. It's ridiculous, man. Lock them up. Keep them locked. Keep them locked down. And then when they get out, when they're an adult and they get a second chance, if they mess that up, then, you know, throw the book at them. I mean, it's that simple, especially for violent crimes. Now, if it's some petty, nonviolent, okay, cool, I can understand him getting released. But, dude, man is walking around with a, with a Draco, you know, looking for ops on demon time. For two counts of armed robbery and given nine months probation in that case. 
Police arrested the 15-year-old last Wednesday. He made his first court appearance on Thursday and ordered detained in secure custody. The court found the boy has high supervision needs and a risk of physical harm to the community and running away. Now that boy remains in custody and is scheduled to appear before a judge later this week. Now Milwaukee police arrested a 17 year old boy as well as a 19 year old man in connection with this investigation of the shootings that happened a week ago. Today Milwaukee police tells me that the 19 year old was not charged and that charges are pending for that 17 year old. Reporting live in Wauwatosa, Bill Miston, Fox 6 News. Yo, what's good BGZM News 17 family? I'm at the corner of Jesse Jackson and Marcus Garvey and I got some bad news for you. As you can see, I lost my job. I'm out here living in cardboard boxes outside of boarded up vacant homes. YouTube said I'm done getting money out here in these streets. They even took my funky ass suit. So anything right now would help. So go ahead and hit that cash app, hit that PayPal, hit that GoFundMe, hell, cop the merch. Or if you want to make the long-term commitment to the Jinquavius Jackson Fund, join the Patreon so that I can continue to put out top-notch content each and every day. Also, <laughs> check out the Rumble where there is absolutely no censorship. Link in the description box below. Hey, yo, 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 ain't that that, that nigga did Quavius? Yo, I recognize No, that's Chris not me no more. Hey, hey, yo, run your pop. Y'all tell me what they say. Do the opposite of Antonio Brown and take what all your What more do you want from me? Only on Fox 6, a freeway homicide caught on a recorded prison phone call. What was initially thought as random road rage targeted. As Bill Miston explains, prosecutors say Lance Wyndham was the one who pulled the trigger, and it's not the only homicide charge Wyndham is facing. On May 3rd, a phone call starts shortly before 9 a.m. Thank you for calling Oshkosh Correctional Institution. Prosecutors say it's between an inmate and this man. Lance Wyndham. At around the same time, Michael Shraven, a mechanic, follows a car onto 145. When a man gets out and starts shooting at Shraven, Shraven died. I tried, and I'm sorry. Damn. I'm sorry that I wasn't successful, but I tried. At the time, it was. And another mother crying, caught bro lacking on Highway 175, and the rest is history, guys. This is. <laughs> a common occurrence i've told you guys the highways and byways are no longer safe i mean it is getting spooky out here you gotta ride around with bulletproof windows it was believed to be a random road rage shooting but now court documents say it was targeted those documents say wyndham tells the inmate Please tell me that ain't the mechanic right there behind me. A beeping sound is heard, as if a car door has opened and four gunshots. Wyndham's then recorded saying, he's the reason my wasn't running, bro. Mm. That Wyndham was trying to call Shraven, his mechanic, for two weeks to return car parts, but Shraven was ducking him. Mm, so, you know, sketchy mechanic works on your car, um, does some bad work, ducking your calls. So I understand why he... Uh, was frustrated but this is not how you handle a dispute i mean take him to small claims do something but this ain't it bro only to come across him on the highway ramp i boom 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 wyndham said he was arrested a month later <laughs> and appeared in court not for the freeway homicide but a different one charged with killing 33 year old mario redmond in a home near 46th and locust last fall Damn, so this man got multiple bodies. I told you, I told y'all, it is plenty of super gremlins in the community walking around with multiple bodies. And he caught this one last year. Prosecutors charged Wyndham with gun charges earlier this month and later added the freeway homicide charge. 
prosecutors say the van Wyndham was driving the morning Shraven was killed was found burning underneath the South 35th Street Bridge later that day. Wow. Court documents say a person sent this man, Antonio Carr, a screenshot of a Fox 6 news story of the freeway shooting. Carr sent the person his pinned location, right where the burned van was found. Wow. He's charged with aiding a felon and bail jumping. Both Carr and... Jesus, the self-snitching is ridiculous and Wyndham remain in the Milwaukee County Jail Bill Miston Fox 6 News Fox 6 reached out to Wyndham's attorney for comment on these latest charges we have not yet heard back Walsh, Milwaukee police say Hex nightclub in Walker's Point has once again become the target of a drive-by shooting CBS updates Frank Healy has more from the scene mm. Milwaukee police say this is the second time in three months that a drive-by shooting has happened here at the Hex nightclub. Crews spent a lot of the day breaking out the front windows, or at least what was left of them, replacing them with the boards here that you see now. A post on the club's Instagram page says they're open. I was actually a little bit scared. It was kind of weird because, like, I don't know. I've never experienced anything like this before. 13-year-old Eric Milan says he was sitting in a nearby store with his dad when the shooting started. Super loud, but... It's around 4th of July, so I just thought it was fireworks. He says everyone in the store... Dang, they got that little man shook. They got little man shook, and obviously it, it looks like they shot the club up. This is something that is a common occurrence. I've warned patrons of the community about large gatherings and how they aren't conducive to, you know, mending the wounds of... Uh, 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 already, you know, waning and, and, and fickle, if you will, community. Guys, we just got to, hey, two, three at a time, maybe max. But it just seems like we cannot get together in these in these large gatherings and do right. So I am calling a at least six month stay on large gatherings in the community. Okay, if y'all don't want to abide by it, I know it's 4th of July, but I'm calling it today. It's going to stand today. Quickly realized that wasn't the case. We all ran to the back and VT was like, why are you guys running? It's only fireworks. We was like, no, no, no. We heard glass breaking, like that kinds of stuff. And then, you know, it after they stopped shooting or whatever, uh, we came out here and there was glass everywhere. People were panicking. It's really crazy. In an Instagram post, Hex Nightclub officials said regardless of what you might have heard, Latin Night is in full effect. The post also says security will be enforced for 21 Plus Club. Charles Bushman just moved in right next door. Just came over here to pay my deposit to rent a place and within five minutes of me being here, all of a sudden you hear gunshots. He says incidents like these are just part of living in a city. And he doesn't think whoever did this was targeting a person just the business because there was a lady sitting in the car when it happened and she was fine Milwaukee police say they're still investigating what happened here at the hex nightclub we'll bring you more information on that as we learn it in Walker's Point Frank Healy CB and they still open you can hear the bang and they ah <laughs> uh, relentless if anything yes 58 news I just started hearing a lot of loud bangs like but I thought they were fireworks because like it's time around 4th of July. What 13-year-old Eric Milan thought were fireworks, actually gunfire. Hex nightclub, the apparent target of several shots fired Saturday morning. Milan sitting in the sneaker shop next door. That was like super close to us. Like, I, I could step outside and see all the glass. Like, it's scary as well. It can be traumatizing for sure. It's just disappointing. Several mm. people at the scene Saturday tell 12 News they heard it too. I heard automatic gunfire. Lil Man. Yeah, it was probably. Lil Man's even said he was disappointed in y'all. <laughs> it's getting ridiculous. 20 or 30 shots. I smelt a lot of the gunfire. I mean, it, it came through the alley. So, yeah, it was pretty crazy. Richard Berg says he saw who did it leave the scene. It was a, um, a minivan, and they had the door all the way open. A minivan did it, bruh? Um, description, big dog. Restoration crews working for hours, smashing out the remaining damaged windows and clearing the broken glass from the sidewalk. This is actually the second time this has happened here, really? so, yeah. When was the last time this happened? Maybe two or three months ago. Oh, yeah, they did the same thing. 
shot up the uh, the club. Another neighbor, Lars Espelon, says he witnessed that gunfire. Yeah, about three months ago, there was 11 shots fired through the windows here, uh, shot them out. It was pretty scary. Multiple businesses left dealing with the damage Saturday night. This bullet hole through Folia Plants and Hair next door to Hex Nightclub, where they're boarding up all of the windows for the night. Reporting in Walker's Point, Kendall Keys, WISN 12 News.